What's up folks, welcome back to Baby Later Burst. I'm your host Michael Nightwing, and today I wanted to show you, this is, okay, so, this is a Plastic Gen Revival video, right? This is a Red Dragoon V2, and it's in Toys R Us. But what makes this so special is one, I, I never had it, but I want you all to see what the Magna Gear system is all about. So I showed you before my Dronzer V2, where it has a magnetic part in it where it sticks, you know, like the part's metal, see? Magnetic, right? So one of the things I need to acquire is the Magna Core Stadium. Because what made these things so cool is that you could interchange the So what made this thing so cool, this system so cool, is they had interchangeable magnets that were inside the stadium. So you can put the magnets in different locations and really change the way the bay battle went. Then also, you had your Magna Core disc in and your opponent had a Magna Core disc. If you all had the exact same polarity, it would push you guys apart from each other. But if you had opposites, they attracted. And that was one of the coolest things because you could really, depending on like what type of blade you were using, really change up the way you were battling. So the cool thing was like the disc, right? These Magna discs, which I thought were the best part, allowed you to really customize how your battle went. So let's say I'm using, I'm going up against this one here, right? And this one has a magnetic, like look at that, see? It has a magnetic disc. So if my blade, has the same polarity, right? And they're both south to south, they would push against each other. So they would push away and it would be harder for them to hit. But if I had mine on the opposite polarity, then they would attract. So the cool thing was you would try and figure out what your opponent was using, right? So the first battle, let's say you guys stayed really far away from each other. Well, then you could just change yours out real quick and then switch it over to the opposite polarity so that yours had a harder hit. So it's really cool if you were using a defense type to try and outwit your opponent by using the opposite polarity, or excuse me, the same polarity they were using so you guys wouldn't hit each other. And it just would really frustrate people if they couldn't get that hit in. It was so fun to play. So I'm super excited to get my hands on that stadium soon, I hope, and I can show you all just how fun that thing was. Then the other thing was like, it has this little rubber border. And if the rubber border came off, you would have an even stronger polarity because the rubber really helped like dampen the polarity or the magnetic force. So just like usual, you gotta put it all together. Like even this part has metal in it, which really helped. And then this is opposite here. So they push against each other, you see that? Oh, got the other side. So you can see right here, they say the exact same thing. If you have the same polarity, pushes you apart, opposites really attract. And then if you had inside the stadium, right, you had the magnets in different you know, polarities. If you were using a defense type, yours could stay in that polarity and kind of stay away. And it was really cool just the way that whole system went. So what's interesting, what I don't remember is these came with two different drivers. So this is the normal version here. This is the spin gear normal version. And this was the Magna Core version. So they gave you the option. If you didn't want to use the Magna Core, you can just swap it out the middle. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so there's definitely magnetic stuff going on here. So then once that's in there, essentially all you do is you put these on. And you can change these either direction if you want to make a right spin or a weird little turtle shape. And then you would throw on your disc. Now, of course, you have to figure out the polarity. So if you want it, like right now, it's repelling against what's going on at the bottom. And then if you want it to really all work together, there you go. 
And then of course you need to put your bit chip in. Dragoon. Boom. And just like that, you have the left spinning, the original left spin Beyblade, Dragoon. Now, we'll put it into battle against this Voltic Ape. The Ape is in the same polarity, actually opposite polarity, so they attract right now. But you'll see what I was talking about. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is this stadium. It's just a collapsible stadium that came out around V-Force. This is from like 2000, I wanna say two. It's a collapsible stadium, and then at the bottom of the stadium is a storage compartment where you can store all your blades. Super awesome, super amazing. And this is the Dragoon Shooter. I'll do an independent video about this one when I get the other one. But let me show you how this thing launches. Oh, and it even has like a shoot mode. So you can see how strong I am. Let me show you how this thing looks. 6660, baby. The original electronic shooter. All right, so that's Dronzer. I mean, oh, you see those hits? You see how hard those hits were? So Dragoon and Voltic 8 came in and collided so heavy because they were opposite polarities. So let me show you. Dragoon. Whoa! The ape was able to take it, but you saw those hits. And that's all because of, the, well, not all because of the magnet, but the magnets definitely assisted in that hard collision. Yeesh. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, look, you're gonna, look how it even comes right into it. Look at that, it's weird, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take Voltic Ape, switch it over. Now remember, the Ape doesn't have the rubber that makes it a softer ma magnetic pull, but it should still work pretty well. All right, so now they both have the same polarity, which should force them away from each other. You see that? Look at that, those hits are way, ooh, hits are way softer. Cause they don't want, look at it. They're being forced away, literally being forced away from each other. The same result though, Dragoon lost, but you can see there what I'm talking about. All right, we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna use the regular launcher, the red one that came with it. Oh, big hit. All right, so something just broke. And I think it was a part of the weight disc. Those rubber rings, the protective rings on the weight disc quickly, quickly fail with enough impact. You see them right there? They don't want to touch each other. They do not want to touch each other. Oof. And was I right? Yep, I was right. So you see right here, the rubber piece came off. So here's the other one. I'm gonna take that one off. So now their polarity is even stronger against each other. Ooh, still some good hits though. All right, now this is with them trying to push against each other. Look at that, still fighting. So now we're gonna do is change it so they're on, oops, the same polarity or opposite polarities. So they attract and we'll see how big their hits are at that point. Oh! Oh, nice, nice. Oh, wow, crazy. But yeah, so there you have it, folks. That was the unboxing here 
of the Red Dragoon V2. I'm excited to show you all the other unboxings I have for these old, old Beyblades, because this one here is from 2002. This is from 2002. So yeah, do me a solid favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and if you can, please go home and tell your mom you love her. I would love to hear your opinion on the plastic generation and what you think about it. If you haven't done so already, please, 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 please consider signing our petition to try and get the plastic generation back. I've been talking to Hasbro, hasn't been working out too well, but I'm still giving it a shot. I'm not gonna give up. So yeah, until I get a solid no, or like a very firm no, it's never happening. We're not giving up. So yeah, again, thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel, like this video if you can. Please go home and tell your dad you love him, all right? See ya.